YouTube, welcome back to the channel. For those of you stopping by for the first time, do me a real quick favor. You see that red subscribe button down below? Go ahead and push that and show your support. For those of you stopping by to check out what's going on with me today, welcome back to TLTG Review Reviews, my friends. I'm glad you came see me. So, all my regulars know what it is. It's a day off. You know what I tend to do on my days off? Drive my wife crazy. Go shopping. So, trash or treasure time once again. So one of these, I actually already opened, sprayed it on my hand because I wanted to see how close it actually was to what it supposedly smells like. So what fragrances are we talking about today? We're talking about Jimmy Choo, Man, the original, the Eau de Toilette, the supposed clone of Coach for Men. Sprayed it on my hand. I got the dry down. We'll talk about my thoughts here in just a second. And one that, according to the Fragrantica reviews and ratings, it's just a god-awful 20-minute long smell. Oh, this thing's terrible. It's a blue fragrance. They're out right now. The house is Abercrombie & Fitch. And the fragrance is First Instinct Blue, $24.99. They're out right now, guys. Uh, buddy of mine on the Facebook group, loyal subscriber, Matt, I'm not going to butcher your name. I'll just put it on screen right here. Wanted to make sure I didn't miss out. Went ahead and grabbed First Extreme for me. Went and sent him the money. He put it in the mail. It'll be here Tuesday. We'll do a first impressions on that. Most likely a full review. Miguel got it as well. Talked to him on the phone. He swears I'm going to like this because it's spicy. So I saw it today. Lo and behold. But hey, I don't have to miss out even though I could have got it locally. I just didn't have time to get out there. Matt, thank, good looking out. I appreciate you, my friend. That way I don't miss out. This one was out there for him too. He asked me if I wanted it. Checked for a grant to us. I said, eh, I kind of pass. When I saw it in person, I said, you know what? This will probably make a good video. Let's talk about it. So here we are. But first and foremost, let's talk about Jimmy Choo Man Ice. It's a one ounce bottle, 30 ml, standard Jimmy Choo kind of stuff, just like my Man Ice bottle. Really nice cap. Best thing about these fragrances is that atomizer. So supposedly, it smells like Coach for Men even has a similar look you know obviously doesn't have the hang tag coach is obviously of higher quality but where Jimmy Choo shines versus the coach bottle is this atomizer is light years ahead of this atomizer so here's the biggest difference they do smell similar they both don't have the greatest performance I actually do get six hours with this one I don't know what I get with Jimmy Choo man ice just yet but this is a little more synthetic so, and they're not that far apart in price. I mean, this one ounce, they wanted 25 or 29 I forgot what it was. I, I got it literally just to do this for comparison's sake. I bit the bullet on this one, guys, so we could talk about this and settle it once and for all. It smells close. It's definitely a, you can damn near call it a clone of Coach for Men. The performance is kind of similar, but Coach for Men is a higher quality scent. They're using higher quality ingredients, clearly. And they're not that big of a difference in price. For this one ounce, you can get a 1.3 of Coach for around the same price. Which one should you buy? You should buy Coach for Men. It's a better fragrance. This isn't budget conscious compared to this one. You can get them for the same price. So it's been a while since I've had to do this, but Jimmy Choo Man, trash. Pass on it, guys. I don't know about intense. It might be better than this. I will get intense eventually for demonstration and testing purposes for this this channel but I'm telling you right now guys pass on this one and just get this one it smells like coach coaches around the same price get coach it's better very redundant to own them both but this will be just kind of a gym bag kind of scent throw it in the bag spray it on we'll see what kind of performance we get so back to the the one that I have no clue what it smells Jimmy Choo Man is not that bad, but if you own Coach or you're debating on getting one of them, you just get Coach. That's why it gets trash on the rating. But let's go ahead and bust First Instinct Blue out. I'm only a fan of certain blue fragrances, and I want to see my favorite blue fragrance. How does it stand up to this one? Now, this is going to be based off of initial impression. This is going to have nothing to do with longevity. I'll update you on the longevity. Um, by the way, for those of you wondering that haven't checked the group center of the day, Azaro Chrome Sport. It's Versace Mano Fresh and Polo Blue had a baby, and it's Azaro Chrome Sport. 
So, let's check this bad boy out, shall we? So I will give them this. The bottle design is on the unique side with that wavy design. It has the big stamp plate on the side. It's cool. It really is. Cap clicks into place, clearly. Let's see what kind of atomizer we're working with. Decent. Doesn't spray real far. Smells not bad. Let's give it a spray. Kind of synthetic kind of scent in the air, I will say. Little plates. It, I give I give Abercrombie and Fitch that. You know, this is a 100 ml bottle. The bottle designs are cool. They really are. It's different. It's probably going to look cool on the shelf. That's different. I smell a lot of rosemary up top. So it's kind of fresh spicy. That's one quick and easy way to win me over fragrances. All of you fragrances out there watching this, you know, just being stupid, but I love fresh spicy and I do like rosemary. Rosemary, bergamot. That's kind of pleasant, guys. I'm not going to lie to you, and it's different. I was expecting to compare it to my favorite blue fragrance, Aqua Senziale Blue by Salvatore Ferragamo. They don't smell alike. They really don't. As it's the, the initial spray is starting to dry a little bit, because you, you can see my hand's not shiny anymore from the oils, it's, it's got a little bit of an embroxin smell, but far from one to one. The rosemary is separating this thing. It really is. This is closer to Low Blue Dissio Fresh by Issey Miyake than it is to Aqua Senziale Blue or Dylan Blue or any of those because I do have a small little travel vial of uh, Dylan Blue. It's just too rich. It's kind of off-putting for me. It's not for me. This is my favorite. I have Aqua Atlantique, another blue fragrance. As of where I stand right now, I want to not going to lie to you guys, for my taste, treasure. I, I'm kind of digging the smell. I don't see all the hate. It might be in the longevity category. I doubt I only get 20 minutes. That's what these people are saying on Fragrantica, but you can't always go off of what you see on Fragrantica. All I use that for is note breakdowns. I can kind of gauge what kind of performance, but you can't always go off of what you see because stuff that people say week one to two hours, I get four or five hours. Stuff that people say are moderate three to six, I might get eight. You know what I mean? So you can't go off of that, guys. you got to do your own testing. And in these situations, it's a blind buy. But this is a treasure. Based off initial spray, it just is. So I'll do a little more testing. Uh, is it the greatest scent I've ever smelled? No, absolutely not. Is it synthetic? Yeah, it sure is. But I have a lot of synthetic fragrances. Don't let the word synthetic scare you off of a fragrance because it can still be a very pleasant smell in the air. Just because it's really synthetic coming off of your skin doesn't mean it's not leaving a beautiful scent trail behind you. And when you walk by people, they're not going to say, Ooh, that smells good. What are you wearing today? That stuff does happen, guys. So, as always, do me a quick favor. Go ahead and like, comment, subscribe. I do appreciate all the feedback. Uh, we're going pretty rap growing pretty rapidly, and that's all due to you guys. I can't thank you enough for subscribing to the channel. Um, I love when I wake up in the morning, I got a stack of comments to reply to, uh, new subscribers. The view counter just keeps going up and going up, and I just I can't thank you enough, guys. Very humbling. I'm very appreciative of, appreciative of it. And I, this is kind of an iffy one because how I like, those of you that have been, before, been here before, you know how I like to close this out. So... I can't guarantee you anything on these guys. If you get these and you give them a spray now, I'm not too sure if you'll thank me later. Do your own test and I'll do mine and I'll get back to you. Have a great afternoon, guys.